Welcome viewers, this is Rookie Klein, the ticked off, overdriven cassette master. Yes, the audio is all clipped because it's overdrived. My automatic level control cassette recorder I'm using to get the audio in here has way too much overdriving power. Not only that, but I'm ticked off by all the Murphy's Law stuff that happened as I got this all set up to make the video. But, here it is, my homemade 1 watt audio amplifier I made back three years ago in 2004 when I was only 13 years old and it uses a TAA 300 one watt audio amplifier chip I believe that chip is extremely hard to find it was amazing I found it in this this place and it was wow anyway um, I'm going to show you it operate here well, I got the audio sounding a lot better now, now that I have an external microphone instead of using the recorder's internal microphone. But here it is, homemade audio amplifier. As you can see back over here, I'm using my Ampex Micro 24 to put the audio through it. So now I'll play it now. <coughs> speaker operation. Okay, that stupid sound comes from the cassette recorder system. I should have got a, a better one, but I don't know. I, was just, I know, I'm, I'm in a bad mood right now because of all this, but anyway, here it is through an external speaker. This thing right here. There it went again. speaker there. Apparently the external speaker isn't very efficient, it seems to be a louder over here. Oh my gosh, what messed up sound. Anyway, the, the in case the case that was used for the ampl amplifier, 
had originally an old cable box thing for TV cable box made by Gerald. And um, I simply, I'm getting so, so, so ticked off by the audio coming through on the video. It sounds so messed up. Anyway, I'll give you an inside shot of the audio amplifier now. Of course, first to begin, you're taking the bottom cover off. So, just going to be doing that. You can barely open up the thing because all the wires and stuff kind of cramped in the way it is. It's not much room to open it up good. And see, there's a power transformer. If you look back inside, you can see the speaker back up in there. You see, here's the power supply part. It's got, um, if you look over there, you can notice some of the rectifier diodes right there. And the filter capacitor and stuff. And so, oh, stupid thing. 7805 voltage regulator. It's a 5 volt regulator. To re a 5 volt running it. You can see the, uh, the circuitry I made for it there. Because I'm uh, barely. barely uh, <laughs> stupid white. Better. Uh, you can see in there better now. The way it can the lights. Stupid. I hate that sound. That thing. Anyway, okay, here's a better view of the ins Oh, that's a good view there. Look at that, look at that, look at that. that's a good view. You can see the speaker and you can also see the back of the volume pot. Right, that that round thing there. See some capacitors and stuff. You can see ah back in there. It's a heat sink TAA 300 chip. It's not a normal microchip look chip. It's in a metal can. It has a heat sink on it. So it's pretty neat looking the inside of my audio amp unit. So, um, by the way, my Ampex Micro 24 is right here. I can play. Play the Ampex Micro 24 speaker itself. It's a very good recorder. The song was recorded with this recorder too. So um, I hope you enjoyed my presentation of my home built amplifier, Unlock TA 300 amplifier. Original uh, plans for it. Uh, TAA 300 amplifier idea came from this um, site, like with Pedro and Patrick or something like that. Like how these a uh, <sighs> project called the Radio Shack Special, and like I forgot what the site's called, but it's really it's neat. The site's got like a lot of it's got FM radio circuits, circuits and stuff. It's a really cool site. And, um, hope you enjoyed my video, but I know I'm not, not in a good mood right now because just Murphy's Law and all is taking, taking hard work on me right now. So many things are making me ticked off, you know. If you, if you ever know, I'm a person who gets mad very easily. I mean, very easily. That's just. But anyway, that was my video.